Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. And if you guys haven't been to my channel yet, I'm a homeschool mom of 10. I had two children that have gone through homeschool. Um, we actually pulled them out in third grade and sixth grade. So, um, but they graduated and now I'm teaching seven of the boys in the house this year and today we are going to be talking over the curriculum that Eli and Hudson are using this year and I in some of my other videos I was stating that we are still waiting we were still waiting uh, for the shipment to come in and I think that was on the twins and Declan's reaction to their homeschool. So I'll try to link that video up above for you guys to check that one out. This is all new to them this curriculum this year um we're using a becca for this year so last year we used rod and staff and um then we kind of switched things up a little bit what they are doing this year what i was trying to say is last year we did rod and staff and some off brands with like cursive and stuff like that but i kind of went over a lot of that in another video so I'm just gonna kind of get to the point today and show you guys what we are doing today. I am gonna show you guys some of the stuff this year that we switched to with Hudson and Eli. So one of the things that we are working on different this year is the history and science book. So, okay, so I have everything. Um, in other years, I don't do a lot of like science and history in elementary years but i wanted to kind of add some more stuff to our year this time um they are using a becca's sixth grade curriculum between hudson is in sixth grade and then eli is in eighth grade but i thought it would be nice for them to to either work together or they can kind of go on their own with that so this is what their science looks like it's observing God's world. We tried to stick to like a Christian curriculum if possible, and that's what a Becca is. Um, I ended up getting this book used, and what other ones did I get used? I got their history used, and I got their grammar composition um, answer book used because when I decided last minute I was gonna switch, it would have costed me almost like $300 to do this. And I ended up, um, my sister-in-law told me how to get it for cheaper using um, other people that want to sell their books. And these, they're not, some of these aren't written in or anything, so um, they're able to like do, do that with their books. So I got these for way cheaper. And then the ones that we were waiting on were the ones in here. So. These are the workbooks and then some activity books for history. Um, they don't know that they have that, so that's what we're gonna be going over to. All right, so this is the Observing Guys World and they'll be working on that this year. And then next year I would get like either seventh grade or eighth grade or whatever. But then Eli will be in high school next year, so he's gonna be off on his own, probably doing Switch on Schoolhouse or a different curriculum. All right, so as for history, we are using new world history, um, history and geography, uh, sixth grade also, and then they can either do this separately or together. And they need to just read over a chapter a day and then answer the questions. So with history, you guys have been and like reading it, but then answering the questions right away, right? Yeah. yeah. For the history one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then for the science, um, their lessons are longer in here, so then they can read this a couple days in a row and then answer the questions at the end of the lesson. And then they have to come to me and tell me um, the answers or they have to, well, science, you have to write it in a notebook. Did I tell you that? Science, the ones that you answer have to go in your notebook, a notebook? You, I did, but I didn't, okay. Uh, history, I want you to come to me. Okay, so um, depending on what subject it is, sometimes they don't have to write it down, they just have to go over it with me. Um, and then as for your math, I haven't checked your math lately, have I? No. I don't think so. I, but I checked Hudson's because we had to go through some stuff, we had to um, 
he had some um, misunderstandings with some of his math, so we kind of, I kind of had to go over it with him. But I still have to correct Eli's for the last um, like couple weeks. Usually with the little ones, I'm right there with them and then I kind of check everything as we go. And then last year, every time that they were finished with a subject, I would check it right away. So my, Eli, I have to get caught up on with that. All right, so I'm gonna go over Hudson's English. I haven't done any of the English yet because we just got it in the mail the other day. So he's just been working on what it, history, science, cursive, math, and typing. And typing we do on the computer, right? Yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can do typing on a notebook. Okay. That'd be kind of weird. Okay, so, uh, let's see. This is Hudson's English, or language, language C, so this is sixth grade. God's gift of language, uh, writing and grammar. Uh, let's see, let me give you an example of his first page. So it says, say it in a sentence, a sentence must be complete. So write it as in the blank if the group of words is a sentence, write F if it is a fragment. So he would have to do, it goes by, let me just see, unit one, lesson two, but I wanna see how this is laid out here. So I haven't gone through it until now, so you're kinda of gonna go along with me here. Okay, so Hudson, it says unit one, part one, unit one, lesson one down here it tells you. And then on this page, it would be in lesson two. So go by the bottom of the page for you to follow. So you wouldn't be doing all of this in one day, okay? So you're gonna kind of go by lesson. So lesson two is still here, but then you would go to lesson three. And I'll stop on lesson three? Well, but no, 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 like in a day, just do your lesson. So if this is lesson three, this is lesson three, this is lesson three, you have to do that. Yeah, just do all of that. Yeah, yep. Um, so depending on what they're doing in that day, if I look over the lesson and um, they already know some of this stuff, they don't have to do one part of it, then they would have to do either every other. Um, there's certain things that I kind of pull out and certain things that we keep in. So I still have to go over this with Hudson. Um, and then this is his answer book that I got um used so that worked out really good together and then um as for eli's grammar and composition <laughs> we had a little mix up with this so when i ordered his book online at abeka when i went on ebay to find his answer book i didn't realize that it was the same edition so I kind of went over it with my sister-in-law. There's some similarities to the answers, and if it's not gonna work, then I need to get the actual answer book to this. But I think this was like, the answer book is like $30, I think, for the answer book, and I spent $10 for this one. So I need to figure this out and see if the answers are accurate. Now, with me and Eli, we did start some of his English, and it was based on, um, let's see if I can find it. Okay. Let's see. It was based on capitalization, using manuscript form, um, using the rules of abbreviations. So we kind of went over that a little bit. And then they have, he has this exercise he has to do and answer or fix some of the stuff in here. And then if they aren't able to do it on their own, then they just come to me and I can help them with that. So, and then we also, like I said, we get the answer book. Um, I know a lot of 
people are like, well, how can you, you know, how do you homeschool if you don't know all the information or don't have the answers to everything? So what we try to do is have the answer books to everything that we're working on, unless um, it's like math and stuff, and I can do more math, but English, I need a little bit more um, assistance when it comes to like answering some of their problems. So we always try to make sure that we are doing the right stuff, and then we also will reach out to other homeschool moms if we are having problems with one of the subjects so there's always a time where you know we might not know something but there's always people out there that we know that we can reach out to and um, help us so that's what Eli is going to be working on so Eli while I'm sitting here talking about what we're the Mama, history and stuff okay hold on ah sure so can you go through that first page that we were in the answer book. So this is the this is that first one that we worked on right here, down there. And then can you go in here and see if the answer matches to the most part? Um, yeah, I don't think it does. You're welcome. Is it unit three or? Oh, here. Yeah, right here. Almost pretty close. So what I'm gonna have to do is be the one to make sure that you did it right. Okay, you kind of get it a little bit. Kind of look that over for a second. You need to get familiar with going back and forth a little bit. Okay, so one of the other things that I wanted them to do with the history books was New World History, Geography, Maps, and Activities. And that goes off of their um, history book right here. So this is just extra stuff that I wanted them to work on. And then I have the teacher key that I can go over and um, show them some of the stuff. So there's maps in mine, skills sheet, um, and then I think, yeah, all the answers and stuff to, let's see if I can show you. So they'll have all the answers and stuff in here. And then for the workbook, um, they have all the worksheets and stuff in here and what I can do is print them off so they both have the same worksheet or I can have them print them off and uh, they can do that because this might be hard to work together or I could actually maybe get another book so they could uh, move one to have to print it off. If I, we'll just see. So here um, is one of the things that they have to do. Here's all the names of the areas that they need to put the number in these little circles. So that just helps tie in the unit that they're working on in the book to the activity. So I really like this. And this could be something that they could work on once a week. They don't have to always um, do this every day. So that's an extra thing. So that's pretty much what we got with these guys. The math that they do is um, we always use Matthew C for math. And then... What else do we do? Oh, we have cursive that they, we get off of Amazon. Let me show them your, yours, your cursive book. So this is the cursive book. I kind of mentioned it in one of my other videos. It's jokes and riddles. And so this is some of what, right down here. Some of what Eli already did. Um, so how far? Oh, so he's pretty far into this book because of what we did last year. So that's some more of Eli's first stuff. And Hudson has the exact same book because, oh, grades three through five. And what I found interesting is that they don't do because we're homeschooling versus public school. I think if you're in public school, they maybe stop doing cursive at a certain grade. And for me, I make them do it all through high school or 
pretty much. Gage is in second year of high school and he's still doing cursive. So I just don't want them to not be able to read cursive and understand that. So we still do that. Um, what else? What else do we, oh, typing is Mavis Beacon on the computer. And this last year I had to get a different, um, like upgrade on it because it wasn't it didn't it wasn't compatible with windows 10 so i had to do that but if i remember i'll leave a link down below and you guys can check that out for typing um she also has a kid there's a, oh no no she doesn't but another one there's another kid one how come we haven't been working on the kid one no remember the kid no. typing one was it kid mavis oh yeah it is kid mavis speaking i'll leave that one down below too how come we're not letting you guys do that this year was that one fun? The kid made the speaking one, or is that more? Yeah, that one's, that one's better than the one that you guys are working on. Where did we put that? Oh, but where do I have that? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, off that, now I'm like thinking in my head here, so I will have to figure that out because that one I got last year and that one was, I felt better too, so, um, I don't know if you need to write in here because I might have had you write in a notebook because I need to just save, I know, isn't it better to just write in a book? <laughs> Okay, so he's already working on his book, and I didn't even ask him to do that, so that was pretty good. Um, so this is your English, and then that's yours. So if you want to start your English, now if you don't understand, um, remember we read all this? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think when we do this, now, so you would cross off here. Let me get a pencil. Okay. One of the things, I know I'm too far away now. One of the things when it comes to homeschooling and stuff with the kids, um, a lot of times they have to do everything on their own, but if they get stuck and they don't understand or it's new, I do... Can I say I do do? I do do <laughs> a lot with them as for, I do a lot. I do do a lot, I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. So I will sit with them and uh, go over a lot of it with them and then even kind of give them like little cheat things because I don't really care. Because we cheat. <laughs> Okay, we don't cheat. Well, I don't know if that's cheating. I just help them out a lot more. Cheating that we're not cheating. Cheating is it? Is it, is it cheating? cheating if we're saying that we're not cheating? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, you just have to do a lesson. How does yours work? Unit one. Oh yeah. Oh, so yours is easy. Good. Okay, that's okay, we'll look it over. We, we have the answer book. Wait, wait, wait. Right here. So, it's not that short. No, 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 it is, because this is just one. This is just unit one, this is. So, we would have to figure out, like, you know, do, you know, the first five. Yeah, so. I think we're just gonna do every other. I know it seems like a hassle, but that wasn't hard to do. That took us two seconds to do. I know it might take a little longer by your own, but you finish this, okay? Um, okay, open that back up so we can check what you did. Well, lesson, lesson one. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the answer and you're gonna put a check mark on the ones that are wrong. Do you understand what I'm saying?
So if I go F, F, and then I say this is an F, then that one would be wrong, right? Oh, you did? Okay, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. And then you, so you got them all right? Okay, and then what did you work on? I only got a couple wrong. Did you erase it and do it over? Oh, okay. okay, so what um, are you, what were you talking about in yours? Yeah. Okay, so if it was a complete sentence, and if it's not a complete, okay, so did it have, did you have to fix it? If both groups of words are a sentence, write S. If one is a fragment, write F. And correct the error as in the example. So you didn't. The package should arrive in the mail in a day or two. So you needed to fix the problem. You know what I mean? What was I supposed to do? I told you here. The race began when the flag was dropped. Um, one way to correct a fragment is to join it to the sentence from which it has been separated. You girls stay here until we return. So they put a period there and it shouldn't. You girls stay here until we return. Um, here's a fragment and here's a sentence. You will put some would need notice that a comma is used to join a fragment to the rest of the sentence if the fragment comes first. This would be a... Small. Mm-hmm. This would be a small. No, wait. Hold on one second. You're not listening to this part. So it says one way to correct it. Notice that if it, that a comma is used to join, here it didn't use a comma. Okay. And here it did. Okay. It says, notice that a comma is used to join a fragment to the rest of the sentence if the fragment fragment comes first. Can you tell why when you read the sentence out loud? Okay, so hopefully you guys like that little glimpse of what Hudson and Eli were doing today. So there's a lot of things that we have to go over because this is their first um, time using this book. And Abeka is a little bit more advanced. So I'm going to have to sit with these guys and help them figure this all out. So I'm going to do that right now. But hopefully you guys like today's video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And... What else? Um, we'll have some other homeschool videos through October. I was gonna do mainly all of September, but just because this is our life right now is mainly um, homeschooling. You're got, you guys will see a lot of homeschool stuff from us. But if you guys have any questions on other things that we do for homeschooling, um, I will try to answer a lot of your questions down below. So. Don't forget to um, subscribe, guys. Otherwise, you will miss out on a lot of my videos. We're going to have a lot of fun videos coming up pretty soon. And don't forget to uh, give me a big thumbs up because that lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying our videos. And don't forget to give me... Oh, no, that's not what I want to say. Okay, guys, set it over. <laughs> All right, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on our other videos of homeschooling and all the things that are going to be coming soon. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because that lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my videos. And we will see you in the next one. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Say it again. See you in the next one. See you in the next one.